Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Dave Moore here. Wanted to make a video. This is going to be a few parts, actually. But this main part is going to focus on my whole process that I went through when starting to conceal and carry. Mainly going to focus on holsters and the thought processes and some mistakes that I made. Which I know all of you can relate to, to this. Some of you might be currently going through this, but all of you have went through this. And we kind of have that in common, all of us concealed carry permit holders. So, the process that I went through was about two years ago. Two years ago is when I got my permit, roughly. Now, I had always had guns, but I never carried them. Never carried open, because I do not really like open carry for obvious reasons. But, like I said, I always had guns, never had my permit. Well, I finally got the money, I finally got my permit. Now, here in Ohio, it required a 12-hour course which now it only requires eight hours. But, I believe it was 12, might have been 10. But either way, there is a, a class that is required. And I finally got the money, took the class, went and got my permit, had my permit within a week. So now I have my permit. What to do though? Now, if you do research online, if you go to forums, God forbid, you go to a, a forum, but sometimes there's really no, no other information out there. So I'm on these forums, I'm on these sites, I'm looking for information. What I basically uh, concluded to was you need a tiny gun inside the waistband to carry so that it doesn't print, so that it doesn't show all of that. So I'm thinking, well, shucks, all I have is a Glock 22 Gen 4, and I do not have the money to purchase a smaller gun. And I'm thinking, well, what do I do? I, I, I do I just not carry now? Do I wait till I can get some other gun to carry? Well, that's not an option because I'm all psyched to carry now. Just because I can and be a true American and carry a gun. So I decide that I am not getting a new gun. I'm going to keep what I have because that's what I have. And then I decide that probably the best option to carry is going to be in the waistband because you look in the forums, you get all this information, the only way to conceal is in the waistband. That's what everybody's doing. When you picture concealed carry, when you picture somebody carrying a gun concealed, it's in the waistband. So now I'm thinking, I need an in the waistband holster. So what do I do? I start searching for holsters. And now mind you, I'm not, about two years ago, I wasn't as into guns as I am now. My wealth of knowledge was not with me as much two years ago. So I'm kind of still an amateur, but I'm even more, I'm a noob at this point, right? So I'm researching holsters, I don't know what to get, I'm thinking to thinking, and it, I, I, in my head, what I'm thinking, I need a minimalist style holster. I need something that's really light and really, you know, just easy to, to use. So I go to, to a local gun shop and I purchase a $10 holster. It is a floppy nylon holster. I even brought visual aids, because everybody loves visual aids. I bought this. This is just a leather-ish, nylon, floppy, pocket clipped in the waistband holster. And it is tuckable. So I'm thinking, all right, this is what you need. You need, need this in the waistband holster, and you have to carry it in the waistband. So I try it out. It's too bulky. It's too thick with the gun in there. So it ain't going to work for me. I set it to the side. I do some more research, so now I'm on kind of the mi minimalist point of view. I want something that's very minimal, very thin, and very easy to conceal without a problem. What do I get? Probably the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. I bought the Versa Carry. This is the Versa Carry. It's got this faux trigger guard. It's got this thing that goes in the barrel and you put this in your pants and then it's supposed to work. Well, you put it in your pants and you go to pull out and the whole thing comes out. The clip sucks. It was just because this is too tight in the barrel. This is a piece of garbage. I don't even know why I bought this, but you live and learn, right? So I'm at this point now, and I instantly throw that to the side because that sucks. So I'm um, doing more research, doing more research, and then I kind of come across, you know, FBI, the FBI can't. A lot of the detectives and such are carrying, FBI agents, are carrying their gun at this, you know, can't with a, a pat, not a paddle holster, but a pancake, pan there it is, pancake holster. So I'm thinking maybe that is the best option because the pancake has been shown to really hold it tight to your body and that can't keeps the grip from showing and 
so and so, yada yada, whatever. So I go to my favorite holster site, eBay, and uh, I'm left-handed, so I get a good deal on eBay. And I'm researching, and I finally find this holster. Now this is actually a gem of a holster, and I'm not I'm not putting this holster down, but for me it just didn't work. It is the pancake style Gould and Goodrich B803. It's leather. It's a very good quality holster, and it has a retention system. So I'm thinking, well, re retention's good, right? So now I'm kind of in this whole outside the waistband. I've kind of leaned towards outside the waistband and uh, having a retention system. So I get this good quality holster, nothing against the holster. I put it on, and the cant is so fucking angled that I cannot reach and get this gun out. It's too canted, and then the other way to hold it straight up, it put the gun in my armpit. So you live and learn, the FBI can't is not for me. So this gets gently tossed to the side because I still do like that holster. It is a good quality holster. So you research on and on. Well, what does everybody talk about? They talk about the Blackhawk Serpa. Now I have seen, now this is after the fact, but I have seen Blackhawk Serpa holsters get pulled off of belts before. But we all live and learn, and I ended up here because Fin Feather Fur had one and left handed for a good price. And Q the Serpa, whatever the hell this is called. Paddle holster. Clearly, the paddle holster is not the option because it can get pulled out of your pants, and this retention system has caused more problems than not with firearms classes. You cannot conceal this holster, it's too bulky. I got it and it's turned into a novelty because you cannot use this as a concealed holster. So I wasted my money on this. I do not like these. So this gets tossed aggressively to the side. Serpa holsters are garbage anyway. Now I'm doing more research. Obviously I'm on the outside of the waistband kick and I'm pretty excited about it. Because I have this full size gun. My dad's a cop. You know, They carry outside the waistband. I'm all hyped. And I do research and research, I read reviews and reviews, testimonials, testimonials, and I end up, I think, on Optics Planet. At least for the reviews, I end up on Optics Planet. Now, I found a holster that is decent by the reviews. Everybody loves it, everybody thinks it's great, so I figure I'd give it a go. So I buy it, I get it for like 30 bucks. Left-handed people always get a deal on holsters, that's the good thing about being left-handed. And uh, I come up with this. This is a Galco. This is the Galco Matrix 7X, the M7X225. It's a very minimalist style holster. It's got these pull the, pull the dot loops that clip around your belt. So it takes the skin of your belt, clips around your belt, and it actually, this was kind of a step towards greatness for me because it holds the gun very close to your body and it's a very minimalist style. I used this holster for a few weeks, I would say, a few weeks. And the only thing I didn't like was that the slide sticks out this, the bottom portion of this barrel. So this is actually a good option. It's cheap and it's a good starter holster. And it really kind of got me going towards my ultimate goal, which is kind of where I'm at now. And this was the, the better purchase that I made of things that I don't use. So. Back is gently set down to the side. Now, I know all of you have watched the Magpul Dynamics DVDs. I have. Don't lie. I'm a fanboy, so say what you will. So I start watching these Magpul Dynamics DVDs. Now, I'm a, I'm a fan of Costa and Haley for obvious reasons, and I hear Travis say something. He says, in the concealed portion, he says, this is a Raven holster. I actually thought he said Waven. I'm thinking, well, what the fuck is Waven? So I research it. I, I type in Google Waven Holster, and it comes up Raven Holster, Raven Concealment Systems. So I'm thinking, I found a company, and that was my introduction to Hard Kydex Holsters. This was when I kind of made my light bulb Einstein experience there. So I get this Raven Holster, this nice, it's nice and hard, that's what she said, and it seems perfect. Well, actually, I, I don't get it yet. I go to the site. Travis Haley and, and Chris Costa are using it, so it's good. 
I look it up, and Raven Concealment's in Ohio. I'm in Ohio. So we, we got a three for already. We got Costa and Haley use it. So one, it's hard Kydex. Two, in Ohio, I like to support local businesses. Three, I'm sold, I'm buying one. So I buy the Phantom holster from my Glock 22 with the standard 1.75 outside the waistband belt loops. Cue in this. This is my first good holster, ultimately, and this is what led me to greatness today. No belt loops on it, I have them put away. But this is the holster that I got. This is the holster that I currently carry, except now I carry the LC, which is for the Streamlight TLR1 HL. So that whole journey, that whole thought process led me to this. So now I've got the holster. I toss that to the side with no aggression at all because I currently use just a different version of it. Now, that's my holster experience. I'm sure all of you went through nearly that same experience. Now talking about thought processes. A lot of people, at least when I first started, everybody thought that you need to carry a tiny gun in the waistband. And I'm here to tell you that you do not. You can carry a full-size gun just as easy outside the waistband and conceal it just fine. Don't wear girls' shirts. Wear a normal shirt. This is kind of a tight-fitting shirt, but when I drape the shirt over my gun, it can be concealed just fine. Moving on to everybody can see my gun. How many times have you walked into a store, a restaurant, a Starbucks, whatever? What are people doing? Answer that to yourself. What are they doing? They're on their fucking phones. Everybody's on their fucking phone. Nobody is paying attention. The fucking sheep just sit there on their phones, on their iPads, and they're not paying attention. Even when driving, they're on their phone and texting, causing accidents. So, if you worry about people seeing your gun, don't. Nobody's paying attention. Nobody knows that you're even there. You can stand right behind them and breathe over their shoulder, and they won't even know you're there until they turn the camera on on their phone. How sad is that? But don't worry about people seeing your gun because they don't even know that you're there. But the only people that are going to see your gun are other concealed carry permit holders like me who are trying to find them because that's a sick game that we play with ourselves because we have no friends. And other than that is cops. And if it's, if, if, if it's a good police officer, he's not going to care. If you're open carrying and he gets a call, different. He'll, he'll deal with it properly, hopefully, from there. But concealed carrying, nobody knows. Nobody knows. And if they do see something, they think it's a cell phone. So don't worry about printing. I was at the phase where I was scared that everybody could see it. I was constantly adjusting, constantly tightening my belt, constantly draping my shirt over. Now I just do whatever I do. I, nobody's noticed. Nobody cares. And chances are you're not some hot piece of meat that everybody's looking at anyway. At least I'm not. So nobody's really seeing your gun. Nobody's paying attention. And the only people that would notice it are friends. Friends or people who are on your side. So if you're worried about printing, don't really worry about it. Just don't obviously have your shirt to where you can clearly see the gun because if anybody notices, chances are they're going to think it's a cell phone or other some other type of, of accoutrement that you have on your belt. So printing is not an option and it kind of leads me to sum up here. Uh, my experiences have led me to carry a full-size gun outside the waistband in a Kydex holster. That's the only way that I'll carry. That's the only way that needs to be carried, in my opinion. I'm going to talk about CCW guns in a video after this, because this is getting kind of long. But moral of the story is, you do not need a tiny gun to carry concealed. You do not need inside the waistband to carry concealed. Matter of fact, Carrying outside the waistband a larger gun is going to make it easier for you and train with it and take a course with it and you will know exactly why. So I'm just going to end this video here. Hopefully you guys had the same experiences as me and I'm sure you have. And stay tuned for the CCW guns video that I'm going to do. And uh, until then guys, keep shooting. Yeah.